we need to talk. You're being gaslit about situationships, or as I like to call them, situationships. Hello everyone, my name is Tia and I'm a licensed psychotherapist. I make videos that offer tips on how to improve your relationship with yourself and with other people. Today, we are exposing the truth about situationships. A situationship is kind of a modern iteration of friends with benefits. You find yourself in a situation that's not quite a relationship. There's no formal commitment between the two of you. No title of exclusive or boyfriend, girlfriend, partner. Therefore, there are none of the expectations that come with being in an official monogamous relationship. Situationships are being promoted as something that's fun and convenient and even empowering. But as a psychotherapist that understands the human attachment, I wholeheartedly disagree. From an attachment perspective, situationships are unhealthy, dangerous, and have a high likelihood of leaving you or the other person traumatized. And it all kind of begins with a game of semantics. If they aren't technically committed to you, then they aren't obligated to treat you the way a boyfriend, girlfriend, partner would. They set aside time to be with you, but also make it very clear that you are not a priority in their life. They can give you just enough uh, attention and consistency to not be completely rude to you, but also withhold full effort so that you don't get accustomed to them being there. They'll have sex with you, but expect it to not have an emotional impact on you. Situationships basically boil down to somebody saying, I want all of the benefits of being in a relationship, like company and consistent sex, but without any of the responsibility that comes with honoring someone's humanity. The fact that the term situationship was created to define an undefined situation is very telling on how uncomfortable it is to be stuck in this in-between space. And I got news for you. Just because you verbally agree to not get attached does not stop your nervous system and bonding hormones from doing what they do. It's important to understand our nature as human beings. We are social bonding creatures. Emotional attachment is a defining aspect of our survival strategy as human beings because we rely on other people to survive. We are not born with claws and big teeth to uh, be able to just come out of the womb ready to go. We heavily rely on our parents and our human community to ensure our survival. This biological need is rooted in knowing that the people that we emotionally bond with are accessible to us, are emotionally engaged with us. We need to know that we matter to them, that we can rely on them, and that they care about our well-being. If they only come around when it's convenient for them, they're not accessible to us. If they can leave at any time, we can't rely on them. And if they're holding space for other options, other people, we don't really matter to them. There's no sense of safety. And for this reason, attachment insecurity is inherently traumatizing to us. We are being full on gaslit about situationships. Anyone who praises situationships are either ignorant to human attachment, lacking in maturity, or are stunted by their own attachment wounds. Healing relational trauma is hard. Not impossible, but hard. It is much easier to gaslight you into believing that situationships are a great idea. Culture is partially to blame. Social media and dating apps make it seem like there's endless options and there's someone a little better just a few more swipes away. Hyper-independence is framed as the ultimate flex, where catching feels is a sign of desperation and weakness. And relationships are associated with a loss of freedom. These are the types of lies that are used to gaslight you into settling for something that innately feels dishonest and unnatural. The price of being in a situationship is the repression of your emotional needs and denial of your humanity for you and the other person. It's choosing to use each other as an object to dull loneliness and gain sporadic affection. 
at first, situationships sound like a consensual agreement, but it's based on a false premise and carries significant consequences. Mentally, you develop a negative self-identity. You know that you're an option, not a choice. You lose self-respect because you know this person is not all in on you and you reinforce this behavior. You have to compartmentalize aspects of yourself and the other person to try and keep it out of the realm of in a relationship. You ruminate over the inconsistencies of what they say versus what they do and you torment yourself trying to understand what anything means. Emotionally, you never feel safe for long. There is a constant looming threat of loss, even though you don't technically have a relationship to lose. You do relationship-esque things like hang out and laugh and talk intimately. You share food, you share a bed, all while knowing they could full well be doing that with somebody else. If not right now, very soon if you were to leave. You have to delude yourself to cut yourself off from your felt internal experience and just focus on how to keep this person around. Physically, the chronic stress of an inconsistent, unreliable attachment figure can negatively affect your blood pressure, reduce your quality of sleep, and even hinder your immune system, not to mention the STIs and STDs. Then, when you can't ignore the hurt and the anxiety and the uncertainty of being in this type of dynamic, you feel like you can't say anything because technically you naively agreed to it. To make things even worse, you never develop real relationship skills. It's like practicing being really good to shoot hoops from the free throw line, but you can't dribble worth a damn and you can't navigate around the court with other people and actually play basketball. Situationships are a minefield of attachment wounds and relational trauma that stand between you and real love. I get it, dating is hard and confusing. So situationships sometimes seem like the most readily available option for a lot of people. There's no judgment here, but I am here to help you make an informed decision and to learn healthy relationship skills. If you find yourself currently in or think you might be in a situationship, share your experience in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe so you can see my next few videos on this topic. I have a lot to say about this, so I'm probably gonna turn it into a series. Let me know if there's a specific angle you're interested in and I'll do my best.